So I'm here with Eddie Smith. He's the assistant coach for Tulane, former uh, LCC head coach. So uh, first question I got for you, you know, you look back at LCC, they won the championship after you, you moved on. Uh, what's it like seeing those guys uh, win and kind of keep that legacy going? Well, it's awesome. You know, it's what you hope for is that, uh, you know, you can build something and, um, you know, continue something that's been in place for a long time. And um, to see those guys, you know, Eric and Ian uh, take those reins and, um, you know, go on and do what they were able to do, it was just really cool to see. I was so happy for them and for the players. You know, so many of those players were guys that I'd spent uh, a season with and, uh, you know, the rest of the guys I'd spent an entire fall with, and um, to see them reap the rewards for all their hard work, uh, it was awesome stuff. And then, you know, you are at Tulane. Last year you guys had a you know an okay season, but what things are you guys hoping to really um, adjust and change and really accomplish this year? Well, you know, I think uh, this year our focus has been on, on the team aspect and uh, putting the team before themselves. And, um, you know, it's been uh, a group where we've got some new leadership uh, in some veteran players that's really emerging right now. And um, it's been exciting to see that. It's been uh, something that's made the fall really enjoyable with uh, a group of guys that are eager and hungry to uh, get after it every day and set a tone for how this uh, team's going to go about their business every day. You know, and then you know, a big part of, of college baseball, maybe in the lifeblood of it, is recruiting. You know, here we're at the Arizona Fall Classic, and you know, there's a lot of teams. What are some of the uh, challenges that you face as, as a recruiter, and um, even what are some of the positive things and fun things about it? Oh, you know, recruiting is just uh, it, it's. A uh, really fun, imperfect science. Um, I think every institution has different uh, um, advantages and different disadvantages. And I think um, the fun thing is, is that whatever place you may, might be at, uh, you know, identifying what your niche is in the market, so to speak, and uh, really attacking that niche the best that you possibly can. Um, at some places that might be a, your academic prowess, at some places that might be you have a degree that's very affordable, um, at some places that might be that uh, you know you, you have facilities that are off the charts and some kind of combination of those sorts of things, but uh, you know there, there's no perfect formula to it and uh, if anybody wants to say that they have that figured out they're lying to you, but um, I think it's just a matter of going out and attacking it the best that you possibly can and uh, trying to figure out what what your team needs are and what players fit best for your institution. And then, you know, also for you, you know, you haven't coached at LCC, you've had a lot of players who want to play at upper levels, but also a lot of players who are now coaching, and we just talked about a little bit ago, guys who come back to LCC or coaching summer league teams. What's it like to see so many guys that you coach now, you know, changing their hat and, and becoming a coach themselves? You know, that's a really fun thing to see. Um, I think it says a lot about the people that they are. They're guys who just love the game. And I'll tell you, when we were coaching at LCC, that was uh, a big thing that we looked for in the recruiting process is we wanted guys who just identified themselves as baseball players. Uh, we felt like that was something that uh, would allow them to be successful at the level where there weren't a whole lot of frills uh, in terms of staying at really nice hotels and taking chartered flights and getting a lot of gear. Um, we needed guys who just played for the love of the game and um, I think that when you look back at it now and you know um, off of that 2015 team it's pretty amazing here we are those guys now are just two years removed from graduating from college and five of them have experience in coaching college baseball and uh, I think it speaks to their love for the game I think it speaks to who they are as people and that you know uh, four of the five were hired at the institutions that they played at to coach and um, you know I think it's a really neat thing that they're going down that pathway for their own careers because I don't think there's a whole lot of careers out there that are uh, more rewarding than coaching. And then you know you're from the Northwest but obviously you're coaching down in Tulane but you know Baseball in the Northwest sometimes gets overlooked, kind of gets, you know, kind of downgraded in some people's minds, but, you know, it really has a lot of talent up there. So what are some things that, you know, even though you're across the country, you still kind of hope for and look for in the baseball in the Northwest? You know, um... At, at Tulane, we do recruit nationally. If you look at our roster, it's something where, um... 
we have a, a roster that's made up of guys from really all over the world and um, so we're always keeping our eyes and ears open about uh, players um, in terms of specifically to the Northwest um, you know I think it's something where we're fortunate uh, as a staff to have a lot of um, colleagues and friends who have their eyes on a lot of games that are going on in the Northwest and you know at the end of the day we don't care where our players from um, we play at a really high level we have really high academic standards and we're looking for guys who can meet both of those to help us get back to Omaha and uh, you know if that player happens to be from the Northwest or from our backyard or from uh, Russia we're gonna go get him <laughs> and you mentioned you know Omaha is your guys's goal I mean, for every division one school um, you know that's a pretty big you know accomplishment for any team to make it that far but for you guys to make it this year what do you guys have to be successful at the most to really um, hit your groove I guess yeah, you know, I think uh, playing together as a team is going to be the biggest uh, thing. If we could put uh, a locker room together where, you know, all 35 guys are pulling on the same rope and, you know, going in the same direction, um, I, I think that that's going to allow us to reach our peak performance. And, uh, you know, ultimately as a, as a coach, um, that's your goal is to get that team to play the best that they possibly can. Um, you know, quite frankly, in baseball, I think there's a lot of factors of of luck that might come into it that uh, you know between injuries and uh, you know getting a ball to bounce your way um, but you know when you play together as a team and you prepare hard for nine months together and you believe in each other you have a way of creating that luck within your own locker room and uh, you know that's our goal is to go about that every single day so that we can have that scoreboard tilt our way awesome well thank you very much Eddie and good luck this season all right thanks Josh